Okay guys, I am putting my GoPros on. It's snowing like crazy, but I can't wait to test out my new suspension. That wasn't the plan. What's up guys, I'm back with another update on the Aerolite 103 tail dragger bush plane. I've got the mountain bike suspension conversion all squared away. It's ready to roll outside, give it a really good shakedown to see if we can move on to the next stage, which is taxiing. You ready, Holly Holly Oxen Free? All right, the game plan here is to roll the airplane outside and just kind of drop it down on its suspension a few times and see what uh, see what happens. See if it looks like it's going to be stable on its own two feet. Here we go. All right, and I'm just going to give this airplane a really good shakedown. While I do that, we can talk about a couple other things. First of all, I eventually make it to flying, so try to hang out for the rest of the video if you can. If you haven't by now, please like, share, subscribe, uh, and let me know if you like this kind of content in the comments. It helps me know what to do in the future here. How's it feel, huh? Just doing a quick control check for me. Appreciate it. All right, and here I just get down and dirty and do my best to really show the airplane a little bit of abuse. Not too bad, I don't wanna break it. Uh, but if I'm gonna break it, I'd like for it to happen here on the ground while I'm sitting still. Fortunately, I've got my dog to help me inspect everything and make sure nothing is out of place. This is not the first time this has happened to me. Uh, it's typically when I'm in some rough stuff, but I got a little excited here and tipped it up with the balance point. And then I killed the throttle, which was my mistake. I should have just kept going and I could have kept the tail down. Then I thought I could use the throttle to push it down, but as you can tell, I just drove it further forward. So I climb out painstakingly and then lower the tail down. And uh, well, what do you say we get back to it? Just a little drift. I've been eager to do that since I saw a video of a guy on YouTube drifting an MX on a frozen lake. And uh, you can see the suspension really working there in some spots. I uh, I got up to maybe 15 miles an hour, anything more than that, let's start wanting to fly. And it was really nasty out. This video doesn't quite do it justice. I had ice built up all over my airplane. My hair was really wet. It was very cold though, thanks to my newly installed heat seat, but everything's looking pretty good. Hey guys, so I've got everything done to the Aerolite that I think I need to do to make it. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna whack it against the ground a couple of times real good. Look at the suspension, make sure nothing's broken and hope that I don't die. Wish me luck. As I'm rolling down the taxiway here, I can feel that seat again. Man, it is just killing it for me. All right, let's get her lined up, throttle it up, and uh, get it off the ground. There we go. No turning back. We have to land it now. Let's head up to my favorite airport, LK, where we can do some testing. I was really enjoying the scenery today. Just a lot of contrast with the light snow that we had just had. And you can see LK appearing in the distance just over my left shoulder. It's 
usually pretty quiet, so you've got your pick runway. And just checking the flag, it looks like it's blowing right down to seven. So we're gonna use that. Nice thing about that is there are trees right at the end here you'll see, so I can just swoop in over them and do a few really good tests. This first one, my plan was to land nice and light, take it easy, and then uh, give it a quick peek and make sure nothing terrible happened. There's a successful landing and a quick inspection revealed that there was no damage. So let's get back to it and take off again. my approach I decided that I was going to make this landing uh, harder than the last several I had already done and I ended up plopping this down real hard right here. You can see the suspension flexes just briefly and I threw some throttle in thinking I was going to save it because I was changing my mind but it was too late it just floated me on my bounce a little further so let's give it another one and see how it goes. And on this takeoff, I'm going to try to pull it off the ground a little early, but stay close. You can see I can just get it, kind of drop down, and, and end up picking it. Really enjoying the final performance today. Seeing about 40% increase over my summertime numbers. landing ended up being more like the ones that I would prefer. It was pretty firm and I was able to do some braking but it wasn't so hard. There I am trying to pull it off the ground a little early again and man the suspension really soaks all that stuff up nicely. So let's wrap it up and head back home. All right if you enjoyed this video once again please like share and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me in my various groups on Facebook. I will link them below. They are the Michigan Ultralight Flying Club, Ultra Stole, and the Chaos 400 Engine Group, where I am showcasing some of my projects for the engines I'm putting together. Uh, you can also check me out on my website, www.kidchaosconcepts.com, where you can check out some of our 103 apparel and a few other projects that we're doing. God bless, and we'll see you guys soon.